Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chidalu Moke. I'm a fit and lifestyle content creator. So today is um, another get ready with me slash rant video. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my lashes. I'm a lash lover, but I don't know how to fix it myself. I've tried a few times, but I keep making mistakes or messes up my makeup. So I either have my sister help me put it on or I do it in the salon. The last time I tried salon, I spent 7k on one lash like that they said i forgot what they call it that single they put it single waste of money i don't want to talk about that anyway so today i'm going to be doing my lashes and fixing my nail well i will be doing everything online or i'll be showing you clips okay of uh, the process however while we are at six i'm going to be talking about my opinion about moses bliss's proposal okay so if you're here for all that gist guys Stay tuned. If this is your first time watching my video, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. So if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. Please, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you for constantly supporting me by watching my video. And please, if you have been watching and you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, all right? So without wasting your time, let's get into it. guys welcome back so um for this video i'm gonna be using these very very short lashes it's not any particular brand in fact it's actually um used i've used it once and i put it back i don't know if you can see it i don't know if it's you know i don't know if it's clear so um i wear glasses all right so i really don't like using very long lashes because it gets to poke on my lens and then it becomes very uncomfortable so i'm gonna be using these short lashes um we're going to be using during this time where you cut them into bits and attach them one after the other i understand it looks more natural so i'm going to be trying it for the first time i hope it turns out well so yeah i said i love lashes and i've not done them for the longest time because i do not do them myself so every now and every once in a while when i feel like looking very glammed up i try to put on lashes and then i'm also going to be doing nails um for the nails i'm going to be in with a very long nail this time around because there's this thing that i do so according to nhs.uk escherosis is also called the matillomania or escheration disorder it is a skin picking disorder where you cannot stop picking at your skin there are things you can try to help yourself but some people may need professional treatments so i have this thing i do where i pick on my skin in this this period it's been my feet i pick the hell out of my feet i hurt myself so many i have um wounds on my legs sometimes showering is like uh, it's horror for me because i have wounds on my feet from picking on them and so most times i to control myself i fix long nails so that i'm unable to do that and within those few weeks that i'm going to be wearing nails my feet will, my feet will heal and then you know I, I have a free few weeks to not pick on my skin and it's very very helpful so i've been trying to break this habit for a very long time i don't know so guys if you have any recommendation for healing or stopping picking on your skin you know so if you have tips please let me know honestly it's it's bad it's a very very bad and i think the thing started out of uh, anxiety and uh, at a very dark stage in my life because i understand when i read about it it has to do with anxiety when you have to think a lot and then you you, have, you just have to pick on things and all that so it is what it is but i need to recover i need to get stop doing that anyway guys so that is that about moses moses please getting married right so that's very beautiful i mean honestly the first time i saw their post i'm sure you guys have seen this picture going viral and every other picture that they've posted and from the videos I am so happy for Moses Bliss. In fact, he is a member of my church, Christ Embassy. So he's like my brother in Christ. I mean, I'm happy for him. We are all celebrating for him. His wife is beautiful. God, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Black beauty. That was the first thing that came to my mind. I didn't even know she was a Ghanaian. I was like, oh my God, what a gorgeous black beauty. Very beautiful thing. However, about an hour later, I came online. They are now dragging women. I'm seeing posts different posts and we'll just share some of them here like it was crazy and honestly anything that has to do with an attack on women gets to me it's not because 
I'm a woman. Okay, of course, because I'm a woman. But like a lot of times, people look at it that okay, maybe she's just an angry woman. For the black people, they always say angry black woman, or because of one thing or the other that has happened in my life. No, I'm a woman, and I know that I'm not a certain kind of way. So when people say things and attack the women for, I don't care if other people are doing it. But don't generalize and don't use one person's experience as a yardstick for everybody. You know, suddenly they are tagging women, writing all sorts of nonsense. She doesn't wear makeup. She doesn't wear nails. She did this. She does that. Women, are you hearing? Gen Z parties, are you hearing? Jesus. What the hell? Okay, guys. So she's the one that will be doing my lashes. You guys know her from my previous video where I talk about my family. So this is my girl, Rosemary. Hey, say hi. She's a very, very stupid girl. I told her to come back. <laughs> she doesn't want to enter the video. Very silly woman. I'm trying to, to help her career, a YouTube career, or somebody that says she wants to do YouTube. Eh? Come and enter camera. She's running from camera. I literally had to yab her into, into coming to film this week. So, guys, she's the one that will be doing my nails. She's the one that did my hair. We literally work together when it comes to hair business. But for the skincare and makeup and stuff, it's me. But when it comes to hair, she's like my able assistant. She's, she's trying. All right, so let's do this. Okay guys, so we're going to be using this um, hair bonding glue by Lanel. Guys, you guys know this bonding glue now, it's very popular in the market. So I just have it just because, you know, I, I'm into hair and stuff. Then this is an um, eyelash adhesive by Best Choice. Uh, so yeah, we're going to combine these glues because while this one is eyelash adhesive, this one is normal hair bonding glue. I feel like them working together will give it a strong hold. This is just my belief. I don't know if it's the case, so we're all just this experimenting. I'm not talking from an expert point of view, so we're gonna be mixing them up so that you know we can have a stronger hold. But I intend to wear this last before at least one week, so I don't have to remove them every day. Okay, so these are the sizes that we cut the lashes into. Um, I don't know, we may have to cut it smaller. I don't know yet, but yeah, this is the kind of thing you have to do. Yeah. All right, so guys, uh, this is what I was saying before. Moses, please got engaged. Congratulations to him and his beautiful bride. However, why is Moses Bliss's bride now the standard for every woman in the world? And to be specific, Nigerian women, you know, there is this thing, and I really want to uh, appeal to the Nigerian men specifically because I'm not from any other part of the world apart from Nigeria. I have not uh, dated anybody outside of Nigerian men. So, um, yeah, a lot of the stories and relationships and uh, that we know about or I know about are mostly Nigerian men, male, whether they are based in Nigeria or not. Of course, there are people that have already experimented or had the experience of dating white people and stuff like that. So I really can't relate. Um, I've not experienced that. So I'm going to talk based on experience. Okay. Okay, guys, so we've done one eye. So this is what it looks like. With the lashes, without the lashes, guys, I don't, I did not get blessed with plenty of fine luxurious lashes, so yeah, this is what it looks like. So this definitely looks better. So there's just this thing, I feel like, uh, the Nigerian men, they need, they really need to cut Nigerian ladies some slack, you know, because there's this, every time they keep complaining, women are gold diggers, women like money, women want to slay, women mm. like human hair for 100,000. <laughs> Me personally, no man has ever put human hair before. before. Okay guys, so yeah, this is what I look like now. So guys, I'm sure you can see the difference from when the video started and now that I look fly. And just imagine when I wear my makeup, it's gonna be the bomb. Back to the gist. Me personally, no man has ever put me human hair before. No man has ever bought me human hair before. Talk more of the one that is 250,000 or 350,000. So those of you that keep complaining, women are good because women are decent. You guys keep going to these women. You guys keep picking women that have fake boobs and fake butts. You guys pick women that are very, very materialistic. I'm not trying to say that women that love lashes and hair are materialistic bro, because I love it, okay? I even sell. So I'm not trying to say that they are bad. I'm just trying to say like, you guys keep picking on women but it seems like you keep going after these women because if there are no men patronizing these so-called gold diggers, these so-called slave queens that are good for nothing apart from just in servicing men in the bedroom, they are not really wife material, they're the kind of women you go to when you just want to have a good time. The point is, if you are not patronizing them, how do you even have these experiences? One, the reason you have these experiences, that you have these stories to tell is because you patronize them. 
and you are the one some of you are the ones that sponsor their their fake bodies body parts you're the one and then you keep complaining the funny thing is or the reality is that there are a lot of modest godly sisters in the church they may not necessarily be oh 24 hours in the church but there are actually women who want godly men but they are not there even the godly men is so hard to find they are coming to church but no atom of godliness in their lifestyle so Moses Bliss gets married. Nobody is talking about how Moses, Moses, Moses Bliss is a full package on his own. Moses Bliss is a full package on his own. Handsome, God-fearing, using his voice to serve God, not using his voice to talk about shaky, bum, bum, shaky, bum, bum. Not flirting all over the place. He doesn't have any scandal to his name. He's like a proper man in all his rights and dignity. I'm not trying to say he's perfect because I don't know him personally. I don't know what his character and personality is like. However, I'm just trying to say why is there so much focus on the wife? And then using her as a yardstick to talk about oh women this like i saw all of those pictures and and it got to me i literally talk about it for the whole day you know and i feel like it's not proper i feel like it's not fair there are so many amazing amazing godly christian women that i know christian content creators that i know who fix lashes and do their hair and it has nothing to do with their relationship with god they are modest they are as an abstinent lady, I belong to a community, the sexless tribe, where a lot of this, we have so many young women talking about it, we can't find men who is going to accept them as abstinent ladies, or virgin ladies talking about they can't find men who are, not, who are willing to date them without sex. So, what is going on? You know, you guys keep talking, tongue. ladies, ladies, women, 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 10 tips to hold your man, 10 tips to catch a man, 10 tips to maintain a marriage, 10, 10, 10, 10 things women need to know about men, 10 things, what, what, what is it? I literally saw that video and I was happy. The only thing that came to my mind was what a beautiful, gorgeous couple. One hour later, I come online and they are using her as a yardstick to measure for other women. Women, take notes. Women, come and take tips. Blah, blah, blah. I just feel that every, first of all, every man have what they want in a woman. Not every man likes a dark skin lady. Not every man wants a tall woman. <laughs> I have my brother to be the number one of that. My brother, he is very tall, but he doesn't like tall girls. And his wife is very petite. So there are men like that. I'm really like hitting this on the head because I want to, I'm hoping that some men out there will not suddenly now want to break up with their fiance or their girlfriend because they now feel is a Moses Bliss wife that they want. So long as that person's character is in sync with your taste, so long as that person's ambitions, visions for life is in sync with your taste and your lifestyle and your vision and goal for your life, please leave human hair, lashes and skin tone and whether they are natural or not, leave it out of the question. Anyway, so let's get into my nails. So I have here my nail plates. Whoa. I have slob nails. I have some that are not yet opened. Honestly, this video is, is inspired because like, see, guys, I'm a godly woman. I love God and I don't play with my Jesus. You may not see me in church 24 hours a day, but I have a personal relationship with God. I love God. Like, I'm not even playing. I love my Jesus because there's nobody that died for me. Nobody was nailed to the cross for my sake. Nobody died for my salvation. Nobody gave me eternal life except him. No one is as close to me as the Holy Spirit. So when I hear posts like hey, this one, lashes, I got my lashes. I'm going to speak in tongues and, you know, have an amazing time in God's presence tomorrow. Looking fly in my lashes and my not natural hair and my nails that's going to be very long. It's going to blind when I'm worshipping the Lord tomorrow in the beauty of his presence. Okay. So, guys, do I do green or white? Uh, I think these are French tips. White tips. Maybe I'll just, because uh, I don't know, I don't think I've done green nails. And even if I have, it's been a while. So maybe I'll go for this green color. It's going to be very bold and flash. So when you say, hallelujah, lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Holy are you Lord God Almighty. We're going to blind them in church tomorrow. So maybe I'll go with this and um, I'll use, I'll find more of these glass nails to fortify them. So it's going to be a double nail. I don't know if I have enough glass nails. So I have some of these remnants from previous. Uh, oh yeah, guys, I found a full pack of the transparent one. So I'm going to use some of these old ones and then take some from here to make it up guys. So guys, you guys know that fixing nails is a long process. So I'm not going to film everything online as usual. So I won't bore you to death. But you know guys, let's do this. Okay. 
Um, okay, so these are the nails. Of course, the green ones are going in first and then the transparent ones will be layered on top to strengthen and fortify them, make them last longer. Wish me luck, guys. Long nails are very dangerous, like if you get hurt, but you know, we're doing this. I gotta get my feet back. I have wounds, I have sores on my skin that needs to get healed because I've been picking on them and short nails are not doing it justice. I'm gonna make it long and pointed so that it'll be very, very uncomfortable to pick anything in the next few weeks, guys. So let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back. So just in case you're wondering, um, I have this one because I react to this view, the smell of it. I have palpitations. And then within the next few days, I'll be coughing and finding hard to breathe. And then, you know, just unnecessary cut and cough, you know. So, um, I usually wear nose mask, but I don't have to. I'm just going to make it with this scarf for now, except I find anyone. So, I'm just using this uh, regular glue. Um, if you have t uh, any idea of any other glue that is more effective than this, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, so, yeah. Last time I did my nails, a few, week a few weeks back, uh, during Christmas, I did my nails. So... You always start with buffing your nails guys so while i'm buffing just drop in a few thoughts here and there so guys back to what i was saying guys uh i just feel like you know if we like if we feel that the men now because i'm not a man and i don't understand the craze with big butts and big breasts so if you guys feel like you don't like baddies and slay queens and women who do fake butts or women who invest all their money uh into human hair which i feel like is none of your business because it's their money but then, if you're a guy and you feel like you don't like women who wear human hair, then why chase them? So when they now pay, place demands on you, you get angry. You know, you need to uh, place your priorities right. If you know you don't like women who task you to buy them human hair, give them money to do breast enlargement and bust enlargement, why go after them? You know, because you guys seem to always have things to say about women. My question is, where do you meet this kind of women that make you so traumatized about womanhood that, you know, you would jump at every given opportunity to criticize and shame the women force yet you can't live without us literally you can't live without us there are so many honorable men there out there but just that those ones are rare they are very rare and they are so rare that you will not see them in comment section trashing women because they have healthy relationships and that's because they have placed their priorities so right that they literally know what they want for want and they go for it they do not go for what they don't want they go for what they want and that is why they are so much in a healthy relationship that's why they don't have time to come online and drag women to tell you because they don't have those experiences it's usually people who have those experiences that keep trashing women and the reason you have those experiences is because you keep going after the wrong type of woman for you because while you may look down on women that like human hair that wear human hair or bone straight hair of like 200 and something else there are men that take pride in buying that for their women there are men that take pride in making sure their wives have the late or their girlfriends have the latest iphone the latest samsung car whatever those ones you will never see them online trashing women they take pride in providing those things but some of you you don't know how to cut your coat according to your size that's your problem you know that you cannot afford human hair you cannot afford bone straight wig these nails, if I go to the salon to do it now, like a very, very good salon that knows what they are doing. Those are that when they do nails for you, they'll serve you tea. Then by the time you're paying for the nails, you see that the tea that you drank with biscuit is 5k on its own. Then to do this nail without acrylic, 10k. If you add acrylic or all this acrylic uh, polish and all that, by the time you see only nails 20 or 25k, you see those women, you will go and be chasing them. You will go and be chasing all those ones. Then every time you see posts online, any opportunity you have hey women are you seeing women are there, no human head can you guys free oh god i don't know if i'm making sense i don't know if the message i'm passing it across but i'm trying to make a few points here i said first of all every man's spec is not the same the same thing with women there are women that would never marry a fat man there are men that will never marry a fat woman but there are men that will literally tell you that every skinny girl they see all they see is bones they need soft something that like cushion you see, the same way, there are men that love natural sisters, blah, 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 blah. There are also men that like slave queens. You wear your human head touching your bum bum. If you do like this, they will just faint. If you just talk and do like this, they will faint. There are men that like that. So, can you let sisters breathe? Can you let women breathe? Every given opportunity, you guys are shaming women. Every given opportunity, you're shaming women. This is the, if bone straight wig is your problem, then please, by all means, go after women that don't wear bone straight wig. Go after natural sisters. If your girlfriend or whatever does not have long hair, so sorry, manage the one she has, eh? At least you should be able to afford relaxer. If you cannot still afford relaxer, brother, don't even take a wife. Don't come and stress somebody's daughter, okay? Just leave women alone. Because some of you, you have made trashing women your career. You have made trashing women 
the only thing that you live and breathe for. If you notice, I'm not on this video to insult men. I'm not even here to thrash them. I was saying earlier, nobody is talking about the fact that Moses Blitz is a packaged man by himself. He has first of all done what God did when he created Adam, gave him a job. So on his own, apart from his music ministry, Moses Blitz has a fashion brand. Moses Blitz, I'm promoting your brand though. Anyway, he has a fashion brand. So this guy, just like Adam in the Garden of Eden, he has positioned himself well to see an Esther or a Deborah who wants a woman that is the proverb 31 woman, but you're not ready to be a boss. Eh? I see everybody pointing her out. Blah, 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 blah. Haven't you seen that Moses Bliss is a boss? Full package, fine man, keeps himself clean. His legs are always on point. Hmm? And I've never seen him be dragging women unnecessarily online or he had one stupid scandal or suddenly he had that impregnated five other women or ten women are dragging him. You know, he has packaged himself well too. So man, you don't package yourself well, but the thing, the thing where they hungry you, eh? It's, oh God. It's, you need to sit with some guys and hear them list what they want in a woman. But ask them their plans. Now they don't have anyone. No plans, no goal, no vision, no nothing, no ambition. If you ask them what they want in a woman now, if you ask them what their plan, what is the plan that you have that the woman that you're chasing will follow? They don't have any goals, any ambition. It's, it's easy to trash. Nobody's competing with men. It's a man's world. Blah, blah, blah. Even in that your home, for your home to be a man's world, as the saying goes, you have to put things in order. Because if you don't put these things in order and you bring in a woman, women will only multiply what you give them. If you give them love, they will multiply it into a beautiful woman. Or if she comes in and you frustrate her life, she will multiply that frustration for you now. You don't understand. It's after if came that God said, be fruitful and multiply. If you are not fruitful, you will just be multiplying nonsense. So men, on a serious note, while you guys are listening for us ladies, don't worry, we are taking notes. Even though I'm not in natural says that makeup that I'm going to wear tomorrow, today Saturday, the makeup I'm going to wear tomorrow Sunday is the first makeup I'll be wearing this week. The last one was last week Sunday. So we do this whole natural thing. We just don't snap it every day. <laughs> But when I decide to wear makeup, I glow up to the fullest, right? So, while you guys are making lists for us for the prerequisites for being marriageable, the prerequisite for being a, a Moses Blitz brand wife, package yourself well, make yourself a boss, get yourself prepared and ready. Don't just be looking for the qualities, but you have no, you don't have any plans. I once asked a guy, you have said so many, you have asked me so many questions about marriage. You have interviewed the living daylight out of me, interrogated the hell out of me. Like I'm going to be paid 500,000 monthly for this interview that you have been doing me. What do you have to offer me? And the only thing you told me is marriage. I said, okay, fine. Marriage is a box. What I want to know is what is inside the box. Marriage is a box, a gift box. What is in the big, in the gift box? He didn't have anything to say to me. Nothing. After asking me, can you cook? Can you this? Uh, what if my mother slapped you? What will you do? Uh, if you quarrel with my sibling, will you fight them? Uh, if I'm broke, I hope you will not leave me and abandon me. If I leave my business for you, I hope you can handle it. If I fall sick, I hope you can take care of me. Ah, let me. Oh, plenty of questions. I, I, what is your opinion about men and women contributing 50-50 in marriage? Ask all these questions. You now, what can you offer me? Not see. You guys just feel like once you hear marriage, and we should just drop our values, drop our opinions, drop our standards, drop our desires, our ambitions, our passion, our interests. Just drop it and carry marriage and be running. That's what has rendered so many women useless, hopeless, and miserable. And it needs to end. You guys need to stop. Take a chill pill. Give us a break. Cut us some slack and begin to watch yourself, train yourself. Improve yourself, make yourself better, position yourself for women of value. We are not the only one. You are not the only one that need a woman of value. We need men of value. We need men of God. Men that can lead us in prayer. Men that can lay hands on you and pray for you when you're sick. Men that when you're feeling frustrated, they will sit down and open the scriptures and I'm already entering spirit mode. I feel like I'm on the altar. Like my if if I pass quoting scripture now, eh, the next thing is to call altar altar call because I'm already vibing in the realm of the spirit. Just many tongues back at Alabaya to start flowing, guys. But I'm serious. It's not it's not always the women, the women, this women, that women, that things women need to know. 50 things women need to know. How a woman can keep a home, how a woman can catch a man. I would need to start hearing a lot of how to be a better man, how to be a better husband, how to love your wife, how to maintain a peaceful home, how to shower love to your wife so that she will be she will be a good mother to your children. Like, come on! Alright, guys, we are here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
This one is um, what's that name? Nicki Minaj. <clears throat> Cardi B. Is it that Cardi B like so she will not be eating or so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know the people they be making me angry. Oh but I cannot do this forever. So today I'm going for a long meal because guys, like I said earlier, I'm trying to deal with excoriation. Hope I'm still pronouncing it right. So I want my nails to be a little bit long so that I can't use it to do you know to, to pick my skin. So I'm doing double nails and I'm fortifying and strengthening this one with transparent nail. I'm gonna maintain this lemon color because it's pretty, pretty, the nail is pretty. It's a nice color, so I'm just gonna maintain it. Uh, I'm also going to make it a pointed nail, guys, so that while um, fixing your nails are expensive, so I don't want to make it be like, okay, I just do it because I want to do it myself, yes. It's actually quite expensive. I want to go to the salon and do this to my taste now. It's going to be at least ten to 15000 But if you even get it at a cheaper salon, seven or 8000 However, I mean, I could just do it myself because I love doing it myself. You all know I love beauty and fashion. But I don't really create much of fashion content most times. I don't know why, but I'll work on that. So I usually, I'm obviously more into beauty, so... I love doing this really so it's more like using two one stone to kill two beds for me so i love i enjoy doing it and i save money doing it as well so yeah it's a win-win suddenly something is in my throat i hope it's not this reaction i talked about for some days now i've been reacting to i don't know if it's dust i don't know what it is but i have to be taking anti-allergy <clears throat> i may have to go to a pharmacy at least a pharmacy Okay guys, what do you think? Is it too long? Is it too long? I will try and manage it. I will really really try. So I'm going for the pointed nails. Alright guys, welcome back. So um, I have chopped off uh, the extra from this time and I'm moving to this one now. So guys, a uh, few thoughts before I round off because I'm almost done. And honestly, I know that the last time I was vibing, I was almost preaching. But in reality, honestly, as much as women uh, or constantly giving, you know, being reminded how to be a proper woman, how to be a wife, how to be a mother. Men should also remember that what the Bible says about being an infidel. How a man that cannot take care of his house is worse than an infidel. Because there are so many men like that. They are not leaders in any way. They, they are not prepared to lead a home. You know, but they want so much. They want so much requirement, so much demands on women. You know? So while you are there, you know, writing lists, of requirements of what a woman needs to do we're even better because us women love us agree of knowing learning how to be a wife how to be a mother but there are so many men that aren't trained there's so many men that don't know what it means to be a husband i don't know what it means to be a father you know they are just growing up with the mindset that i'm a man it's a man's world they are not they don't know the basics of life the basics of what it takes to be an actual man you know they don't know what they should do who they should be to be a man in a woman's life to be a father to a child you know so that's that for for men. Now for they still back on this almost this issue because of course, like I said, that's what inspired this video. That's what inspired me making my nails, the fixing my lashes, and all that. Yeah, these are things I do normally once in a while, like I said. But then you know, for this particular video, this particular story inspired this, right? So I'm asking now, just because this lady came out natural. And for the records, I understand that for those that looked critically at the pictures, she had nails. Her nails were done, right? Which is okay, which is cool. I mean, she's a lady, obviously. I love the fine things of life. Ah, that's okay. So, for those praising her for being natural, being modest, she doesn't show her breasts, blah, blah, blah. I'm not supporting the indecency or whatever, but like, you know, everybody's different. Everybody grew different. Everybody knows life differently, right? So, some people's dress code and all that are governed by what they grew up knowing. While some decided to just make a choice at some point in their life to dress indecently. Okay? So, now, my question is, Based on what people are saying, we should take this, uh, we should take notes, this one, this one, we don't need human hair, we don't need one straight hair, we just need natural hair, blah, 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 to look good. Please, when I've read it, are you guys saying silence sh shut down? I mean, being someone who sells hair, who is a hair vendor, should I shut down my business? Should I stop selling human hair? Should I stop, <laughs> you know, feeding my family? Should I 
stop loving beauty makeup should makeup artists not feed anymore i mean all the makeup artists in nigeria and ghana they need to shut down because i mean we ladies we don't need it we all just need to be natural sisters you know we all just need to be natural sisters and if your hair is still and you're selling hair change that line of business because it's no longer marketable in nigeria because all nigerian ladies now are required to go natural because that is not the prerequisite for finding a husband doesn't it don't you find it ridiculous i mean for every man or even women that actually promoted this nonsense mindset the past few days or hours depending on when you see this video or when i post it do you guys really feel it's fair on the women folk to use one person's testimony that would have just celebrated void of any form of comparison and degradation of other women you know do you think it's fair on the women folks to you know say all this because i don't understand guys you get where i'm going with this so my issue is not whether she dresses a certain way or not it's not my business it's her choice which we do appreciate i said earlier she's a very beautiful lady i find her very attractive not 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 in that way i'm, I'm very very straight <laughs> okay but what i mean is she's a very beautiful african beauty you know melanin queen and all that but then you know you guys should let us breathe because there are men that love us just the way we are. There are men that will literally give us money and say, go and do your hair and look good for me. So remove that nonsense mindset from your mind. Then for those who are quite materialistic, who are the reason why we are constantly bad at every given time, I pray you find light. I pray you find a better purpose for living beyond human hair and nails and any every materialistic thing that you can think of, really. Because... We can attest that many times in life we have seen beauty queens who have it all figured out commit suicide. People who are rich who have everything going on in their life as long as the public is concerned. Take their own life to show you that money and material possessions really don't buy joy, really doesn't buy peace of mind, doesn't buy happiness. It might buy you comfort, buy you luxury, but it won't buy joy, doesn't buy happiness, doesn't buy... Uh, it might buy you a lot of fake friends, you know, it doesn't buy you true friendship, doesn't buy you companionship you don't have it you don't have it you're gonna go home to your big house lonely all by yourself not that you're an introvert just that you don't have real good intentional friends friends that are there for you just because you, you are you not because of what you have okay so uh let's just be mindful because a lot of things we project into society uh or like all these things now they're trending like it could trigger a lot of things for different people and that's why sometimes i speak up on things like this because i know there are people that not everybody speaks out like me. There are people that bottle things up. There are people that are very prone to depression. You know? A young lady now that is 40, that has never been married, can see this video and feel like, oh, she has got it wrong all her life. It's because she has been facing bones three week. That's why she has not married. You get? So, I know that we are sometimes, we are very insensitive, but can we not be? Can we be considerate towards other humans and just be nice in our thought process? And just stop shaming people and talking down on people no matter what when i saw regina daniels during her time i never for once i just the only thing i could think of about regina daniel was like oh mom you get mine you know that's the only thing i ever thought about Regina Daniel. like you get mine i know fit that's just it what was never a thing of oh she's a gold digger oh she, it's just like oh my gosh for you to, you get the my way i don't get to do this kind of thing okay So, uh, yeah, so those are like my final thoughts. And I just feel like we need to be fair with our judgment, with our words. You know, words words are strong. Words have the capacity to internally kill somebody. You know, it's just a matter of time before it manifests in the physical. So let's just be nice with our words. And just take people as they are. You know, just, oh, wow, congratulations, we're happy for you. We don't need to start the comparison. We don't need to start calling many people out. So guys, I am done. I didn't check the time when I started, so I really don't know how long this took me. I know that anytime I want to do this, I need at least four hours. And considering this is a double nails, oh guys, my, my hands feel heavy. This is how it always feels whenever I do new nails. It feels heavy and it hurts. It hurts at different points because of all the whole sh um, buffing and stuff. But I know it's just a matter of time, guys. So, a girl and her nails, a girl and her nails, a girl and her nails. So, Finally, my brethren, hmm? we Holy Ghost Field Funk Speaking Sisters Association of Nigeria that love to slay, we're gonna keep slaying and we're gonna keep 
be in love, we're gonna keep getting married, we're gonna keep getting engaged to propose to, getting loved up on and stuff like that, okay? No shades. We refuse to accept any shade. We refuse to be talked down. We refuse. And I want to encourage anybody out there that feels attacked by some of these unnecessary comparisons going on online. Please, it's past step up. Keep your head up. Wear your crown boldly. Whether it's natural hair or that 250,000 naira bone straight wig. Keep your head up and wear it with your full chest. It's your money. Even if it's dash, they dash you. It's your dash. Wear it with your full chest and keep loving upon God. The man that desires you, the man that God has predestined for you will come and love you nonetheless. Okay? Let's stop bringing up all this, um, you know, some people just put everybody in a box and just feel like everybody should operate from that box. Forgetting that we are from different tribes, different races, different religions, different upbringing, different mindset. We've grown up different societies. We have different standards, different values and so on and so forth. There is no way there will be a unity of character, taste, desires, passion, interest, etc. So long as humanity is concerned, there's always someone who's going to prefer this to that. Different strokes, different stripes. Different folks, different strokes. I don't know the correct one, but you know what I'm saying, okay? So that would be it, guys. So tell me what you think. How did I do? How did the lashes turn on based on the technique that we used? What are my nails? What do you think? How do I look? I hope you're looking forward. Or just imagine me in church tomorrow. It's going to be a bump. Let me practice. <clears throat> now, Jesus... Make it of heaven and earth Lord Jesus All creation bow before you Lord Jesus You are the Lord of all And nothing is impossible with you Woo! Hallelujah somebody Give Jesus the shoes! <laughs> Alright guys, so that will be all. So if you watched this video to the end, thank you so much. I am very, very grateful. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about all these things they are saying? What is your opinion about the way women are constantly criticized and reminded of all the things we need to do to land a man? Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel? Do you feel it's okay? Do you feel we are constantly unfairly judged and so on and so forth? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's been a nice time chit chatting and just, you know, getting these things off my chest. It's actually very therapeutic for me, really. So, yeah, while we're creating content, I'm also just like, you know, getting things off my chest and it makes me feel better. So, yeah, at this point, I do feel better. So, thank you so much once again. And you can check me out on social media, any social media platform at all at I am and i'll be going out for now so i can just go you know deal with the rest of my